Hey there folks, welcome to Good Works Tractors. We've got our new mascot here today and uh, she was not happy being inside the shop while I was out here, so we'll see how she does while I'm out here. But uh, this is Rosie, Rosie the Field Spaniel. She's a sweet girl. She's about 10 weeks old right now. And we've had her for, uh, let's see, a week today actually. We were picking her up a week ago this time. So she's been doing really good. She's a really good dog. She's very uh, people attached. Not just a puppy thing, but that's kind of the breed. That's what they <laughs> that's what they are all about. So anyway, sorry. Uh, back to the tractors here. We have the Kubotas uh, here today. These are going to be two different versions of the 23 horsepower uh, Kubota subcompact. This is the the newest model that's out right now. You have the BX2380 right here. Okay, equipped with the loader and the mower deck. This is. Uh, the newest model of Kubota that's out, the subcompact series. We have a sister over here, the BX23S. And so these are two different variants of the BX23, essentially. Uh, one equipped with the backhoe and one without. So you have to apologize too, this tractor over here has not uh, been detailed yet. It just came in, so it's a little, a little dirty. But uh, this loader is brand new, just had it installed. So the tractor has about 60 some hours on it. Uh, while this BX23S over here has 185 hours, you can see it has a loader on there, the LA340 loader. It has a skid steer quick attach bucket on there, and you can see what that bolt on cutting edge looks like right down there. Okay, so far all the Kubota, um, the newest generation Kubotas, have had this provision for the bolt on cutting edge, so I do like that. That seems to be a standard option. I can't verify that for sure. But uh, you're also going to get the new style of quick park or quick attach on the loader, which is essentially going to uh, uh, be tied into this whole bracket system here and the parking legs that are right here. So there's no longer a need to get off the tractor. You can do it all from the seat with uh, this lever right here, okay? And the lever that's identical right down over here. And to release the parking stand, you're going to move this bracket up and, and lock it in this down position right here. And I do have a video showing how you do that as well. And then one of the other awesome things is going to be the single point hydraulic connection. So after you have the loader off the machine, you can simply flip this lever up and the hydraulics are disconnected. A little storage space here too for the uh, loader hydraulics. Again, check out the other video about the loader removal. The uh, Kubota LA340 loader removal, it'll, it'll show you more detail about that. I know that there is a 54 inch mower deck available, although the 60 inch is definitely the most popular. Kubota still doesn't have a, uh, a standard drive over system, which is kind of a bummer. Uh, so you do have to pull the deck out from the side for the most part. There is an optional easy over, I believe it's called, easy over um, a drive over mower deck system that you can upgrade to. And I think I've even seen a auto connect PTO version, but it was fairly archaic. So. Um, onto the operator station here. This thing is plush, laid out very well. The seat's going to have a little bit more play in it um, due to the swivel kit because you're going to rotate the seat around if you want to operate the backhoe. So there's a little bit more play in that one versus this one feels a little bit more rock solid. So you can kind of see how it's, it's locked in there. This one is latched, but there's just, I don't know, just more play in there. And I, all I can chalk it up to is that uh, swivel kit there that kind of gives it the room to wiggle around nice feature here is a really flat almost completely flat uh, deck space there you have your treadle pedals there the forward and reverse your parking brake down there in the middle and so when you're looking at either one of these they're going to be set up the same i mean it's essentially the same machine just one is outfitted with a backhoe i don't believe you can get a backhoe added on to this series but perhaps you can with uh, adding the hydraulics and everything else but you notice the ROPS, this rollover protection system here, how wide it is when it's set up for a backhoe versus, you take a look here, just step back, and you can see the difference in width there. It gives the operator more room, more comfort there to uh, be operating the backhoe that way. This tractor here did have rim guard in the rear wheels. That's going to add about uh, 300, 350 pounds of weight in that ballpark there, so good ballast weight. This seat is super thick, very comfortable. It's just, it's a super comfortable seat. Armrests here are very nice also. 
Uh, you do have tilt steering on both machines. Take a look right here. Rosie, that's not a chew toy. Let's not chew on that, okay? Can you stop these? So here's your tilt steer steering knob right here. Have your light controls and flashers and turn signals and all that. On this fender over here, gonna have your um, PTO select so you can run the mid, the mid and the rear, or just the rear. Turn your PTO on right here. Little storage right here, cup holder, and you're gonna see a convenience outlet in there. Apparently it doesn't keep the dust and dirt out. Foot brake right down here. Look at the other side down here a little bit better of the loader controls as well. And to um, open and close the hood, you gotta do a couple things. So first, you're gonna wanna pop this out, which I already kinda undid these a little bit here, but you can see where uh, this protrusion fits in that little spring right there, and then you have the same thing on the other side. But you're gonna pull that out, okay? So it's all the way forward like that. And now I have not been able to do this one-handed, but basically I'm gonna push down on the hood and then uh, pull this out with the other hand. So, see how this goes here. There we go. And there you go, there's your, look at the engine compartment, have your filter here. Decent space, decent access all around. Battery is gonna be located underneath here inside here so you just pull out or um, unscrew this and you can open up and have easy access to your battery right there look at the other side the backhoe has had uh, rave reviews okay it has a new system on how you attach it down here so you're going to pull this lever out and rot it, rotate it down and then push it back in and it's going to see this little middle piece right here it's going to pull that out okay and that's how you're going to uh, attach and detach of course you do have to put the backhoe down as you would traditionally but it's a little bit easier than messing with the pins that are typically found in there on the Kubota John Deere and, and everybody else this machine does have a mechanical thumb as well very nice it is adjustable so you can adjust it in this slot here or uh, slide the inner shaft down and then and and put it right through here to, to extend this out down this way. Cylinders are cushioned on the Kubota. And you're going to have three hoses on here. And when you have it completely disconnected, you're going to route this uh, hose right here right back into the machine right here. It's going to complete the, the, the hydraulic flow needed to operate um, your three-point hitch. Take a look at the back side here. And you're going to have your 540 RPM rear PTO. Your category one three-point hitch. That's all going to be standard. Folding wraps on both units here, so you can easily fit it inside a seven-foot high garage. It will not fit in a seven-foot high garage the way that it's set up right now. Take a look at this fender over here. And what you'll see is that this loader has a button on it. This tractor has a third function kit, and this is upside down, but essentially when you have this pushed in, it's going to be this control right here, okay, and when it's, when it's pushed out, it's in a lock position there. So you push it in, you're able to engage it, so you push the button in, and then you can push the, your handle left or right to, um, say, open and close a grapple, that kind of thing. And so you can see right up here, here's the, uh, the outlets for it, right plumb to the front there, which is really cool. And there's also this um, electrical connection here that needs to be made. I have it disconnected right now, but uh, that's what that's going to be for. You can see how this is routed all the way down here, all the way down right into this system here to control that. It's electrohydraulic, I believe, is the correct terminology for that. Good girl, Rosie. That's a good girl. Anyway, R4 tires on both of these tractors here, they are available with turf tires as well. R4 is going to be the most common pattern. These are not going to tear up your lawn unless it's a wet soggy day and if that's the case any tractor tire is going to do that. So price points just to kind of give you an idea again this is a 2017 um, 185 hours you know it's equipped with a lot of extras here with the bolt-on cutting edge it has the optional skid steer quick attach which 
I do want to point out this skid steer quick attach is not standard, so look out for that. A pinned on bucket is going to be standard. I think it's well worth the extra 500 bucks uh, to upgrade and get the skid steer quick attach. And so I uh, had this loader installed, and it was 500 bucks more to have that skid steer quick attach, but it really also opens up the versatility. You can put a set of pallet forks on there, you can put a snow pusher, you can put a grapple, all sorts of stuff. And so it's really going to help uh, your versatility for future uses that you may not even know you need right now and it's also going to help it on the time of uh, resell as well. So this one's 2017, 185 hours, again has a bolt-on cutting edge, the skid steer quick attach option, the grapple uh, third function here, loaded tires, and the mechanical thumb on the backhoe. And this one uh, sold for $19,999 uh, plus tax. And then this is a 2017, again, equipped with the loader and the mower deck, 60 hours on it, maybe 66, something like that. And this one is going for 15.5. So machines come and go all the time. These are not always available, um, especially depending on when you're looking at this video, but we have uh, a pretty updated inventory on our website at Goodworks Tractors. Try to keep it updated on a regular basis. So hopefully this gives you a decent overview of these tractors and maybe if you're in the market for them what you uh, might find out there as different options just again pay attention to the the things that aren't standard so a pin down bucket is standard they're not all going to have that okay there's drive over mower deck is not standard on this series so pay attention for that um, you know third functions re additional remotes besides the two remotes to control your loader are not standard please subscribe to our channel below we get other good videos anytime we post something up. Check out our Facebook page. That's one of the first places we post new listings that we have. Again, check out our website, goodworkstractors.com. And thanks for watching.